this video, I'm going to show how I made the folding carton using library. Notice in LIB, I have the library, I have a corrugated and a folding carton section. So I'll just click into folding carton. You can see the many different categories that I have. And the style that I wanted was called a straight tuck. You'll also notice that there's other ones. The reason it's called straight tuck, the tuck is on the same panel. So if I look at reverse tucks, just to show you real quick, notice how that the tuck end are on different panels. But for the style I want, I want to use a straight tuck and I'm going to come in and I want one with locks. And so that you can see the difference between designs, this is just a little terminology. I want the one with no locks. So if for some reason you don't know the difference between locks and no locks. Here notice with a lock, it has this little tuck. So when you put it in, it doesn't want to come loose. You don't have to put tape on it. In this one, there is no lock. So I'm going to use the one with locks. So I'll go back and it's STE locks. And you notice I can see my variables that it's looking for. I can come in and enter those dimensions that I took. I showed you in the ruler earlier. And the distance is three by one and a half by, uh, I can tab through the box here. I'll say I want a depth of three and seven eighths. Notice I put in fractions. I could put in decimals if I wanted to. Uh, on this one, I'm just gonna use an allowance of a 30 second since it's folding carton. And then on my glue tab here, I'm just going to come in and uh, I'll just give it a glue tab of, let's say, 5 eighths, a little more than a half. And then my tuck, why don't we just make the tuck for the carton a half an inch. So once I enter that, I can just click into any box and you'll notice the carton resizes for me. Um, in the CAD file, if I made a, just to show you how it's dynamically linked, if I made a drastic change like I, to the depth there, You'll notice when I tab through it, dynamically updates. So I'll go back and put that depth in. And before I used a decimal, this time I'll just put it in as a fraction, three and seven eighths. And when I tab it, dynamically updated. You can notice if I wanted, I could enter some data items, but I can do that later in training. But I'll show you right here now that I have some data sizes I could have there for blanks. And then if I wanted to, I wanna save this out PDF so I get a layered PDF two size that I can give to my graphics person. So there I could save it out and I'll show you more of that later in the videos. Thank you.